Let's talk interest rates. How do interest rates affect supply, demand, inventory, and prices? When interest rates are high, typically prices are low, but these recent months have not borne that out in the top 10 North Atlanta suburbs. Usually, when rates are high, the number of homes sold decreases. This makes sense because fewer buyers can afford to purchase a home. Demand goes down, but the current lack of inventory combined with the increasing number of buyers, plus their mounting frustration of taking so long to find a home, has led to mixed results. Four of our markets show an increase in number of homes sold marked in green, while six show the expected decrease. Now let's get personal. What is the real effect of interest rates on your mortgage? If you bought a $500,000 house in April 2024 at a 7.52% interest rate, your monthly payment was about $3,500. But if you bought in August when rates went down to 6.4%, your monthly payment was about $3,100. The monthly difference is $375, and savings over the lifetime of the loan is over $135,000. If you want to dig a bit deeper, take a screenshot of this chart as it gives you a more extensive view as to how interest rates affect your monthly payment. The difference on the same $500,000 house between an interest rate of 6 and 8% is $671 per month or $242,000 over the life of the loan. But what these charts don't show is how much house you get for $500,000 because when rates go down, prices go up and therefore you get less house for your money. Buyers who can afford to buy before rates go down this fall may score a double jackpot by getting the most house for the best price and still be able to take advantage of future lower interest rates thanks to the free refinance option offered by our recommended lenders.